Sharon Lowe's remarkable journey with Boston Cares began just last year, fittingly on Martin Luther King Day. Since then, she has demonstrated through 500 hours of service that indeed, the time is always right to do what is right. While Sharon has served at over a dozen agencies, she's been particularly focused on hunger relief and nutrition, and in fact has led over a thousand volunteers at projects at the Boston Living Center, the American Red Cross Food Pantry, and Field of Greens. In the process, her volunteer teams have served 5,700 healthy meals to people living with HIV, packed emergency groceries for 4,000 people, and harvested vegetables for hundreds of hungry families. Just as important, Sharon has inspired countless volunteers and community partners with her compassion, commitment, and belief that service to others is part of living life to its fullest. I've focused mainly on um, basic needs, volunteering through Boston Cares, although I've done a lot of other projects. One of my biggest issues is food and nutrition. Um, I cannot believe that there are so many people in our country that go hungry every day. I think we need to get healthy meals into everyone who needs them, and that's why I spend a lot of time at the food pantry and at the Boston Living Center, and it's a great feeling seeing those people get the food that they need. Kevin Finn, personal connections with people are what inspire his passion for volunteering. In fact, he joined Boston Cares shortly after his brother Matt did, and they often served together. From leading teams of weed busters at the Blue Hills Reservation to one-on-one -on -one tutoring at Excel Adult Education, Kevin is famous for his commitment and effective communication. Volunteers experience Kevin as a prepared and supportive project leader. Agency partners value his proactive organizational skills, and clients are motivated by his respect for and confidence in them. Through 300 hours of service, Kevin provided meals to hundreds of homeless men, cleared weeds and debris, and improved walking trails throughout several miles of urban parkland, and coached almost 60 adults who earned their GED credential, the first step to college prep courses that will lead most to better jobs and a real chance to break out of the cycle of poverty. When I was in college, I did a lot of tutoring for classes and helping people out with engineering. And I noticed a lot of time people were just trying to take the class so that they could pass the class. And it was really painful to try to tutor them because they didn't care about the material, they just wanted to get a grade. And what's great about tutoring the non-traditional and the adult learners is that they have a bigger vision of what's, why this is important and they're a lot more motivated and it makes it a lot, a lot more meaningful tutor experience. Within Boston Cares are myriad stories of volunteers who become dedicated to our agency partners. One such story is Stephanie Fritz. Two years ago, Stephanie became captivated by the WISH Project's mission to provide free furniture, clothing, and home goods to better house needy people in the Merrimack Valley. She and her husband, Greg, became regular volunteers, and Stephanie soon became a project leader in order to leverage even more volunteers to help WISH serve up to 1,000 families per month. Additionally, Stephanie assisted in the WISH Project's warehouse renovation so that the layout worked better for clients, wish makers, donors, and volunteers. She works on wish database projects from home, leads community collection drives, and has helped organize the Winter Wishes fundraising auction. Topping it off, Stephanie and Greg lend their energies to other Boston Cares activities. Their leadership and carpentry skills were invaluable at the Seven Hills Charter School in Worcester, where they led fidelity at school volunteers in building science lab workstations. An employee at TJX, Stephanie also captains their company's Corporate Volunteer Day team. I'm really motivated by volunteering because I feel like I have so many blessings in my life and the more that you give, the more you realize that you have to give and the more that you give, the more that you get. It's difficult to describe but I honestly feel that the way I come on weekends and volunteer my time, I leave with a good feeling knowing that I've helped a mother who's trying to transition out of homelessness with their children or a family that's been relocated due to fire. I've helped them find what they need for their basic needs to carry on with their life, which is great. To 
Tulazi Pemisani grew up in India and moved to Boston for graduate school. An impeccably organized and efficient project leader, Tulazi is also a supportive volunteer colleague, organizing carpools and personally recruiting many friends to Boston Cares. Tulazi has always enjoyed sampling a variety of projects and participating in teamwork cycles. He has, however, cultivated his passion in two issue areas in particular, tutoring non-traditional adult learners and serving meals to hungry neighbors. And along the way, Tulazi has logged over 500 service hours at shelters such as the Boston Night Center, Pine Street Inn, and the New England Center for Homeless Veterans, volunteer teams led by Tulazi served over 10,000 meals in 2010. Tulazi is equally proud of the number 59, which represents the number of adults he and his volunteer teams tutored at Excel Adult Education who earned GEDs in 2010. We have created this team here. Project leaders talk to each other. We come up with uh, special instruction sheets for the students. So uh, it's, it's the team that we have built, like uh, the team we go socialize. We all met here through Boston Cares. The Boston Cares success story is the 59 GED graduates in 2010. That, that's a record number for Excel. Tracy Allen is a great example of volunteerism that leads to deeper engagement. After discovering Boston Cares in 2008, Tracy served as a mentor for the MLK Summer Scholars Program, became a regular with the Friday Night Supper Program, and participated in two disaster relief trips to the Gulf Coast. As a member of our Civic Leadership Institute, Tracy developed skills in volunteer management, fundraising, and board leadership, all of which she has put to good use. For example, Tracy now serves as a Friday Night Supper Program board member, contributing to their ability to provide 13,000 nutritious meals to hungry Bostonians. As a team captain for the annual service trip to New Orleans, Tracy handled logistics, co-organized trainings in sheetrocking and wall building, and raised funds to offset volunteer costs for the trip. She is a bronze level recipient of the Presidential Volunteer Service Award and, true to form, is already preparing for the 2011 service trip to New Orleans. We went to New Orleans and it was very important to me to get down there and Boston Cares provided the opportunity for that. And when we got to the Gulf Coast and we saw the devastation, it was it just, we knew why we were there. There's still so much work to be done. Um, and, you know, besides the great experience and the people we met and the good work that we did, I think everybody felt like in the group, you know, we need to come back and make sure we do this in our community. And so I, th I think we come back with a renewed sense of purpose to reach out to our own community and give the same energy and attention that we do when we go down to New Orleans. Nestled in neighborhoods from East Boston to West Roxbury are dozens of green space pockets that provide habitat for native plants and wildlife, tree canopy, outdoor classrooms, and places of refuge for residents. The Boston Parks and Recreation Urban Wild Initiative is dedicated to protecting these natural spaces, and volunteers play a critical role in keeping them accessible to residents. Urban Wilds has turned to Boston Cares since 2006 to provide hundreds of energetic volunteers to clear trails, plant native trees, bust invasive weeds, and remove all manner of debris. One of Boston Cares' most notable accomplishments was at the Glade Side, a beautiful 10-acre woodland in Mattapan where volunteers from the U.S. Navy completed in three hours a restoration project originally expected to take three days. The trail work, for example, that Boston Cares volunteers do uh, makes these sites accessible. Many of these sites that uh, are now accessible are due to the efforts of Boston Cares volunteers. So uh, it's providing access to green space, healthy environment, opportunities for urban dwellers just to seek and find uh, sanctuary in the city. So they're, they're really important sites.
More than 1,600 refugees from struggling, war-torn countries arrive in Boston every year, and JBS provides a lifeline to hundreds. Every week, dozens of Boston Cares volunteers work one-on-one -on -one and in small groups with refugees to develop the confidence, basic English, and workplace training skills needed to find employment and to participate in the American dream. In 2010, Boston Cares volunteers supported more than 400 refugees, with one volunteer alone helping almost 40 clients to secure jobs. Just imagine uh, that one day you had to leave your home um, suddenly and flee to safety, uh, and you were not allowed to return uh, to your home. And you found yourself in a new country, um, and you didn't know the language or the local customs or how to find a job. And then someone helps you uh, to learn the language, to find a job. Um, what would you think, how important that person would be to you? So uh, the Boston Cares volunteers um, are back, the backbone of the refugee employment services here at JBS. Recognizing that education is key to solving social issues from poverty to public safety, the National Fidelity at School Initiative improves learning and life prospects for middle school students. Locally, Boston Cares has teamed with Fidelity Investments and the Dearborn Middle School in Roxbury, which has 386 students. To date, over 650 Fidelity employees have volunteered 4,000 hours to improve the school's learning spaces outfit a new teacher resource room, and create a college and career center dedicated to fostering student aspirations. Building on the Dearborn partnership, Fidelity has teamed up with the nearby Roxbury Presbyterian Church and Dudley Street Neighborhood Initiative to create a Saturday school for students needing additional help with reading comprehension and vocabulary. Fidelity has made a three-year commitment to the Dearborn uh, that commitment also extends to Boston Cares, so we are working in partnership with Boston Cares to meet the needs of the Dearborn School. We've built a college and career zone. Uh, there is a new computer lab at the Dearborn School. We painted hallways, classrooms, stairways, uh, and we're looking forward to bringing whatever the resources we have at our disposal to continue the upgrade of the Dearborn School and to help the kids know that people at Fidelity uh, and the people of Boston Cares really care about their success. And I, I don't think there's enough that I can put in words what the partnership with Boston Cares, with Fidelity, has meant to the school. They give me that support that I need so I can keep coming back day after day, regardless of what the challenge and the obstacles may be, and say, we can do it, but most importantly, we'll do it, and we'll do it together. Mm -hmm.